Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the first three Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster games. They've just come out today. They are remasters of the original NES and SNES games that came out in the 80s and 90s. Um, they are currently only on PC and mobile at the minute, but I'm assuming they'll be coming to console later on. I'm not going to go through a huge amount of each game, um, so don't consider this a review. I'm just going to play like a few minutes of each one and just see how they look, see how they sound, see how they play. So nothing like major in depth, but um, we're going to take a look. Uh, one to three have come out today. Four to six are coming out later on this year. We don't have a release date for that yet. But without further ado, let's get into Final Fantasy 1 and see how it runs. Okay, so here we are with Final Fantasy 1. Now, I didn't complete the NES version of this game, which this version is based on. I actually completed the PS1 version, but I did put in like two, three hours into the NES version. Um, now, kind of going to start off with a negative because I already tried to record this video and the game actually crashed when I tried to end the recording, which corrupted my my, uh, my save file. So, I mean, not, not, not my save file, corrupted my video file. So I'm going to do this again. Uh, so that's that's not the best start. But um, I'll show you the extras. We have Bestiary. Now this wasn't here when I first started the game. So this is this is something that's been added because I've killed these enemies in the game. Because it did it did actually save my game despite actually crashing. Got a music player. Which is uh, which is really nice to have. Matoy's Cave, my favourite music in the game. Let's see what this one sounds like. I really like that. The ship theme's really good as well. I really like these rearrangements. So it's nice, it's nice to have these um, these music files available in the game. And we also have a gallery of um, concept art. Well, not, not, not just concept art, you've got like uh, title screen art as you saw just there as well. That's very nice to have. I mean, I personally have a book with all the concept art in it, so not so much for me, but, um, you know, it's, it's a nice thing to have there. Options menu is kind of bare bones. If you go into display settings, that's your display settings. You can change between full screen, borderless window, and windowed. It doesn't seem to save your preference because I changed it to full screen on my last uh, recording of this and it went back into windowed um, and I had to change it again. Maybe that's because it's, maybe that's because it crashed. I don't know. I don't know. But um, keyboard settings, you can fully change your keybinds. You can do all of that. One thing I noticed, um, this one button does two different things, opens and closes the map, and turns auto battle on and off. Now that's just one button, and I noticed that while it did open and close the map, it did nothing about auto battle whatsoever. So I'm just wondering if I can actually rebind that. Oh, that didn't work. Um, okay, change that back to X. Uh, 
Okay, so you can only set things to those four buttons. That's a bit naff. So I can't, I can't like set those to the shoulder buttons or anything like that. I didn't realize that before, but um, yeah, that's not great. So we'll go into a new game. And I've got to put all my names in again. I'll just put in the names that I put in last time. Um, I always have a character called Raven when I'm playing a game. Um, and for some reason, a couple of names from Dracula just popped into my head. So that's what these two are called. And we are going to change that to a monk. Not, not, not that I'm actually kind of like going through a full playthrough of this right now. I'm just, I'm just having like a little test. Which I already have done, but uh, but it decided uh, it decided that it wanted to mess that up. So this, as far as I can tell, isn't skippable. It's nice to have like a cutscene to start the game, but um, you can't skip it. Let's press escape. Try escape. Nope, you cannot skip this. That's not great. But as you can hear, the music's nice. The graphical style, it, it has kept the feel of the NES graphics. But it has updated them and it does look a lot nicer than the NES one did. So I am, I am um, in favor of that. I do think that looks nice. A lot of people didn't like the sprites. I, I quite like the sprite design. So here we are in Cornelia, where we start. Now you will notice a bit of screen tearing. Unfortunately, with the display options being like basically nothing, um, you can't really do anything about that. I guess we're just going to have to wait to see if like a um, vertical sync option comes into the game at some point because at the moment you do have that screen tearing and it is quite bad okay that's just showing me the controls so yeah you can probably see that screen tearing like really bad there but we'll go into the town well I was going to say we'll go into the town we'll do some combat first so you've got all your options there. Now that button in the top left appears to be related to the auto battle, but I can't get that to work. So that's that's kind of no good to me really. Okay, open up the controls menu. Oh maybe I can start sub auto battle from here. Well, I just press the button. Let's see if that works. Nope. Ah, I've got to press it while in the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay, that makes a bit more sense now. Let's show you in the town. One nice thing in the town. Let me just bring up the map. Um, you've got these icons. So, to like to tell you where the potion shop is, the uh, weapon. And armor shop, spell shop. That's that's quite nice to have. And you can turn the map on and off if you want. Um, I forget the button to do that, but you can actually do that. Or maybe you can't. You can open and close the uh, ah okay, yeah. Yeah, you just press that. And you can, uh... yeah, you can turn that on and off. I need you to move out the fucking way. I 
All oh, right, I need to go to the castle first. Okay, so he's just giving us a quest. Now, as far as I can tell, it's the same translation. Um, I may be wrong. It's, it's been quite a while since I played it. Uh, we can sprint while in the towns as well. The PS1 version allowed you to sprint in the towns, but it didn't allow you to sprint on the world map. Which this one doesn't either, by the looks of it. So we're going to have a have a quick look at the Chaos Temple. Let's just fight these guys first. Now normally you'd grind for a little bit first and get yourself some gear before you go to the Chaos Temple, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Try and get into at least like one more battle. Normally I'd go to the Chaos Temple at about level 4. I'm not going to play for that long at this point. There we go. Okay, let's head up. Okay, so let's try out this auto battle. Okay, now we're quite possibly going to die to Garland. In fact, we almost certainly are. Just going to auto battle again. Normally, I'd have like potions on me, better armor, better gear. I think everyone's going to die. I mean, they, they, this isn't a difficult fight, but when you're level 1, it's not great. I'll be very surprised if my healer manages to kill him off. Ah. So yeah, so normally you would level a little bit but it's basically just kind of like showing you what the game looks like how it sounds how it plays so let's move on to Final Fantasy 2 and uh, and see what that one's like okay so Final Fantasy 2 um, just a bit of a background on this with me um, this is one that I've not actually played um, I do own it on the NES Mini and the PSP and the PS1 actually um, but this is one that I've not actually got around to playing so I can't really make any direct comparisons but um, we're gonna have a look let's have a look in the extras menu again music player gallery same as the last one and again I'm assuming this is gonna be gonna be like concept art and stuff like that concept art by Amano is just excellent if you pick up the uh, Final Fantasy Ultimania books that has all of it in it yeah we're just gonna keep these names just see what it's all about uh, yeah so unlike the first game, this one actually has named characters. The last one was kind of like just anonymous dudes. Well, se se several guys and one woman. So this is this is pretty cool. I, I, I like that. Um, not sure if that's in the original game. Like I said, I've, I've not played it. I'm assuming again this isn't skippable. Yep. 
and we do still have the problem with screen tearing. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to have this set in the scene. I do plan at some point to play through all of these games. It's just getting around to it. Because I only really... Like, got back into RPGs recently. Okay, I know, I know for a fact that you can't actually win this first fight. And you will just die. I have been told that. Well, not die, but you're knocked unconscious and then you get taken away. So I used to be into RPGs as a kid. And... I kind of... fell out of favour with them. I didn't really play them a hell of a lot. Like, as I became a teenager, I moved into kind of like different kind of stuff. But it was actually through doing the Retro Odyssey podcast that um, I kind of got reintroduced to RPGs again. And um, I'd, I'd, I'd never played a Final Fantasy game. And we covered one on there, and I kind of fell in love. And as you probably know, if you've been following my channel or following the podcast for a while, I, um, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV for a, a few years now, nearly three years. So I've really got into the series in a big way. But I've, uh, I've completed the first game. I've completed... 10 I've done all the main all, all the main story content in 14 I've played 13 as well and I'm currently playing through 7 the original 7 not the not the remake Okay so I know this game uses the keyword system we just learned the Wild Rose keyword there. So let me just see if I can get out of this castle, get out into the overworld and see what that's like. Not that way by the looks of it. I have no idea which way to go. I do not know how to get out of this castle. Probably go talk to people. There's a chest there, let's have a look at that. Again you can see the screen tearing. Do we go up? No, that's the, the, those are just the uh, tutorial guys. Maybe I've got to talk to those guys first. Who knows? But as you can see, this is essentially the same kind of thing as uh, as the first one. Same graphical style. They've done well to kind of like keep them looking the same. And give them like the same feel. Not that there was a huge graphical upgrade from the first two games, but um, it is nice to see. Oh, there's a door right there that I didn't see before. A slice exit. I just, I just want to see what the overworld is like. Okay, yeah, yeah. Same, same kind of graphical style. And battle's going to be, I'm sure, pretty much the same, except we're missing. 
I guess we've probably got to kind of like um, gear up, level up a bit. Because these guys are just not hitting. Oh, there we go. Real have a new battle theme as well. Um, the, the the victory music as well at the end. That's really nice. So it looks like we level up actual skills. Yeah, so I've leveled up like sword and shield there. It's probably why I wasn't hitting anything. But yeah, that was that was Final Fantasy 2. Let's have a look at the final game that uh, became available for sale today. Okay, so here we are with Final Fantasy 3, which is the third game that was released today. This was the final entry on the NES, uh, the final main numbered entry on the NES. Uh, Final Fantasy 4, 5 and 6 were SNES games. So maybe that's why they've released them like this. Maybe, maybe that's why we've got the three NES games first and then they're doing the SNES games later. Maybe they need a little bit more time to just polish off those SNES games. Extras menu, same. Gallery, again, is going to be the same as it was in the previous two games. Now, this is another one that I've not played. And it's historically been quite difficult to kind of like get, at least in the West, because for whatever reason, translations were not forthcoming from Square for this game like quite a while I believe it was re-released on the DS but the NES version um, well I, I, I believe it was released on the NES in the West but when they were re-releasing all the games like on the PlayStation stuff like that they missed out three and they also missed out three on the PSP in the West but it was brought out in Japan on PSP. But the Japanese one does actually have an English translation on it. So I'm not I'm not entirely sure why. Because I, I do I do actually have this on PSP, like a boxed copy of Final Fantasy 3 on PSP. I had to import it from Japan. And it does have English language tracks. So I don't I, I don't really know what the issue was there. But they, they really haven't wanted to make this one more available. Which is quite weird. I mean, there they, they, they have been versions. But this is, um, this is kind of like superseded all of them now, I guess. Well, having said that, I don't know if this is better than the DS version. I know... I know a lot of the re-releases on different consoles have had extra content and these versions don't have that extra content. They are based on the original versions. So that might put be, uh, some people off. And I can see why. It would have it would have been nice to have the extra content there. And I'm sure there's a way that they could have done that. Like if they were if they were redoing all of this to have a new graphical style, they, they they could have put like the extra stuff in there. I'm sure because that way these could have been like the definitive versions of these games. Whereas as it stands, if you do want the extra stuff, you just have to go to, to, to different consoles and get multiple different versions. 
which isn't the best. Oh, we're getting attacked by the rock. No, it's just goblins. Well, that was easy. Oh, okay, opens up a new path. And I'm guessing I should probably equip the shield. Yes. Um, I, I'm glad it has the optimal thing, like it did for the... Um, for the other version, the uh, the PlayStation One version, or at least the not the PlayStation One version. I mean the PlayStation One version of Number One had the optimized system, and so did the PSP version. So I'm assuming that the um, the versions of Three like had that as well for the PSP. As I'm assuming number two does as well. Yeah, again, I do like the sprites. I can I can understand why some people won't like the change. But personally, I think they look alright. I would like to get out to the overworld, but that looks like it's going to be an entire thing. Because it seems like we're starting in a dungeon. But again, really nice music for this. And I am looking forward to going in and doing like a deep dive of these. But as it stands, yep, yeah, these, these seem to be solid remastered versions of the originals like I said it would be nice to have the extra content but what can you do if if, if they don't want to put it in there you know fair enough one thing that does need kind of like fixing though is the screen tearing hopefully there's a fix coming for that because as of right now you can I mean not so much in here actually you, you can you can still see it in here as well but um, especially like out in the overworld in the other two games, it was really, really bad. And that could do with having a fix. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with these. Maybe they were a little bit expensive. But, you know. People are going to buy them. I, I, I bought them. So that's, that, that's proof. And they price things at prices that people are going to buy. So, you know. As corporations for you. But um, enough about capitalism and enough about Final Fantasy. That was a look at these three games. I will probably do another video when the next three games come out. Uh, just showing off how they look. But that will be it for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please click like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.